What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a video of this new book that I got in. It is The Art of Mondo. Uh, so my brother got me this book. I think it's really awesome. The main reason why I collect steel books is because of how awesome the artwork is. Um, and some of my favorite arts from steel books come from this company, Mondo. So for those that don't know who, like what Mondo is, they're an entertainment company basically that gets artists from all over the world to send them their uh, like just different arts of, you know, movies, TV shows, all that. And they get made into like posters, t-shirts, you know, just apparel. Um, and then some of them get chosen to be made into steel books, which is really cool. So I thought that this book is really, really awesome. They just have a really, really wide selection of different arts and from all different artists. So I think it's really nice. So let's take a look. Yeah, so we got some cool art here from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, we have art from Clerks, so I think that looks really, really cool. Here's some really cool Tron artwork. That looks so nice. Some of these are just so incredible. So much detail. Here's another great one, uh, Inglorious Bastards, Quentin Tarantino movie. This looks really nice. I love the artwork on this. Uh, whoever the artist was that did this uh, also did the Reservoir Dogs artwork, which I have on a steel book. So kind of similar. Here's some 80s artwork, 16 Candles and The Breakfast Club. Here's some Star Wars artwork. Uh, I'm not personally a fan of Star Wars, but these artworks are very nice for them. There's so much detail that goes into these, it's so nice. And here is my all-time favorite movie, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, I really, really like this cover. It's super cool. So you have Scott down here fighting Gideon. Uh, you got all the evil exes back there. If this was ever to be made into a steel book, I would for sure get this because this artwork is incredible. Here's a really cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, which is really funny because there's no other Terminator art because clearly Terminator 2 is the best one. So that's some really cool art there. There's a really nice Iron Giant one. I really love this Nightmare on Elm Street one. Uh, this is part three, the Dream Warriors one. So this is where he has like the fingers uh, with the needles on them, which he used to kill a girl in her sleep. Uh, which kind of sounds dark, but I mean, you know, all of them are dark. So I really like that artwork. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here's a really cool one, uh, Scream. So this was uh, art done by Alex Pardee, which I'm a huge fan of. He does like some really cool, like outlandish, gory art. Uh, so I think this really speaks a lot about his art in general. It's really cool. You got the Scream face back here and then all the intestines, uh, which are like black and gray. And then you got like the blood splatter. So I think this one's really well done. If this was made into a steel book, I would probably get this too, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Scream series, but I am a huge fan of the artwork for sure. And then here we got Dawn of the Dead, George A. Romero. And then we have Hobo with a Shotgun, which is an extremely underrated movie. Uh, I, I love this artwork too. It's just so brutal. Really describes the movie in just one picture. And then here we got Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, which is strange because I don't think there's a regular, like the first Hellboy uh, artwork. So, I mean, the second one's good. The first one's a little better. This one's really great too, this Monsters Inc. one. Uh, this looks the most Mondo, honestly, out of like all of them. Uh, it's just got that vibe to it. Uh, this should be made into a steelbook as well. I would definitely get this. Uh, I would say it's probably my top three favorite Pixar movies. And here we go, my favorite horror movie of all time, The Cabin in the Woods. I really like that artwork. Uh, it's really cool. It's like all the stairs going everywhere. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, like, like they're playing a game or something, which is basically what the movie is in its entirety. Um, I do have the steelbook of this. It's a Zabby exclusive, but if this was made into a steelbook, this sp uh, specific art, that would be the one I would get for sure. I would definitely have to cop that. Here's a really cool double page Halloween. That looks really great. It's from the first one. Here's one of my favorites too, uh, the Shaun of the Dead double page. That one looks really nice. Great movie. And here's one that was made into a steel book as well, uh, Looper. 
So I think this one looks really, really nice. Uh, I never got the steelbook of this. I never found it for a good price. Uh, I, do, I have it on Blu-ray, but I do want to get this eventually one day. I absolutely love this movie. And the artwork is just so unique. It just looks really cool. Here's a really clean one from The Dark Knight Rises. I really like how like minimal it is uh, and how his eyes make the bat symbol. I think that's really cool. Uh, strange though, because they didn't make any other artworks in here for any of the other, uh, like the Christopher Nolan trilogy. And this is definitely my least favorite out of all three movies, but I mean, to each his own. The Drive artwork, there's two different ones in here, I'm pretty sure, and the other one got made into the steelbook, but I really like this artwork. Uh, this is an incredible movie if you haven't seen it. And then over here we have the Incredible Hulk, um, which is weird because you would think that it's like the Edward Norton one, but it's not because it's Mark Ruffalo right there. And then the Leviathan is in the back too. Uh, so this is definitely like a Mark Ruffalo Hulk Avengers kind of kind of deal here. And then here we got the Avengers artwork. This was made into a steelbook as well. I'm still trying to hunt this one. Uh, this one looks really, really cool. You got all the characters. Uh, and then over here is Thor. And I think that the detail on this is just incredible. You can like see his face. I don't know if you can see it really well, but the detail is just so nice on that. Over here we have Captain America. This is really nice artwork. And then Black Widow over here, which is so nice. I just love how minimal it is. Uh, you got like this red stripe representing her hair. And then her mouth is a gun, which is really cool. I actually didn't notice that the first time looking at it. Um, and I don't think this was for the movie specifically, because uh, this was made like before the movie was even announced, the artwork. So yeah, it's just Black Widow being Black Widow. And then here we have Toy Story, uh, one of the other Mondo steelbooks that I have. Some really nice artwork. This is definitely my favorite Pixar movie of all time, the first Toy Story specifically. So yeah, it would make sense that this is one of the ones that get made into a steelbook because it's such a popular movie, but the artwork on that is just incredible. This one is so awesome. Uh, so you got the tiger and he's basically punching out of the tiger's mouth uh, for Rocky Three. So I think that artwork is very, very cool, super unique. Looks really real too. It looks like it's actually being punched out of this tiger's mouth. Here's a cool Beetlejuice one and uh, John Carpenter's They Live. And here's one of my favorites from this book. Uh, the Back to the Future trilogy artwork. So this is really cool. So you got the first page, uh, which is Marty playing the guitar from the first one. And then the background is the uh, clock tower. And then the second one is him on the hoverboard. And then you got the Biff Tower in the back. And then the third one is him in a cowboy hat. And then the back is the saloon. So all together, making the entire trilogy in one picture. Super unique. That'd be a cool steelbook too. I don't know how they would do that though. <laughs> Here's another Iron Giant one. This one looks really cool. So he's like holding the deer and the kid is on top of him. If you didn't know, uh, this is a Brad Bird movie. Uh, and he also has a lot to do with this company, Mondo. Yeah, he's made some incredible films, Iron Giant, Incredibles, all that. This is some incredible artwork right here for The Thing. Uh, I think that looks so, so nice. I don't know uh, the artist that did this one, but that looks absolutely incredible. Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't a steelbook, but if it was, I would definitely get it. It just looks so, so cool. Here's another really nice Beetlejuice one. Love the colors in that. Here's a really nice Taxi Driver one. It's really cool. Got the whole strip there. And you got him standing out over here. Here's a Sweet Man of Steel one. That looks really cool. Very underrated movie, I feel like. It's definitely the best Superman movie to date, um, since all the other ones have been like really, you know, cheesy and just like, you know, but this one was really good. I really liked it. A little long, but. And then here's the other Drive Steelbook that I was talking about. This is the one that got made into the Steelbook. It's really nice. I do prefer the other one, but I could see why they made this one into the Steelbook. It's a lot more detail, a lot more colorful. Um, and then Attack the Block. This is a really good movie, super underrated. Um, Nick Frost is in this. It's kind of like a like a hood alien invasion type movie. Here's a really cool Battle Royale one. Uh, they're kind of like all like little cartoon characters. So I think that one's really cool. And here's probably my favorite artwork in the whole entire book. This Home Alone one. Um, 
I really, really want this one to be made into a steelbook. So Home Alone's my favorite Christmas movie. And it's just so nice. I don't know if you can really see all the detail on there, but it's got all the traps. It's really, really cool. So you got him like slipping on the stairs over here. Um, you got him pulling the iron and the iron's falling down. Just think that looks really cool. I got the Michael Jordan cut out up here. It's just so much detail. It's so nice. For sure, one of my favorites, if not my favorite of this book. Here's a really nice two page Pulp Fiction artwork. That looks really, really cool. Love the colors in it. There's a really nice Fantasia one. So you got Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and then you have Sleeping Beauty. I love the detail that goes into this one specifically. I was like really analyzing it before and trying to like look at everything. And I stumbled upon, there's like a really, all, all the way down here, even if I put this book all the way up to the camera, I guarantee you, you can't see it. It just says delicious in like orange lettering. I just think that's really cool. You know, the amount of detail that they put into this. Um, the artists really, really go hard for this. So props to them. And then here's a few that were made into steel books. Uh, I know the Alice in Wonderland one is, the Aladdin one is, so that's really cool. Uh, the Lion King, Frozen. These are all made into steel books. Yeah, and I uh, got a little damage down here. Some of these pages, a little bent. Um, that was Amazon's fault. It's all good. And here's another one of my favorites, uh, The Incredibles. This one is made into a steel book as well, but it's very rare nowadays, uh, especially to find it brand new. I do eventually want to get this. Um, Incredibles is also in my top three Pixar. Um, but yeah, I just I love the detail on this. It's just very minimal. Um, and you got Syndrome up there. Uh, so I think that's really, really nice. And then you have like a portrait shot of Mr. Incredible over here. So that's really cool. And these ones are just absolutely amazing. So here we have Up. Uh, so you got the house over here. And then you got the little uh, grape soda tab over here. Just a lot of detail. I think that's really, really nice. Um, and you got the little dog. And then you got the peacock over there. So here, let me hold it up so you can see better. Yeah, just the detail on these is just so nice. And then you got Carl Fredrickson over here. It's a portrait shot similar to the uh, Mr. Incredible portrait shot. And then he's got the little grape soda tab over there too. It's just a lot of detail that went into this. I really appreciate it. And then over here, similar to the up one, is Wally. So this is really cool. Um, you got Wally over here and Eva. And they're flying towards each other. Just the big spaceship. Some really, really nice artwork on here, too. Uh, I don't think they made a Wally -E steelbook, Mondo, but this would be a, a, a great idea for sure. It's artwork here. And then this is one of my favorite Pixar ones, too, in this whole entire uh, book, this Ratatouille one, which is really, really nice. So you basically have a little rat here. It doesn't really look cartoonish. It just looks like a regular rat, but you know it's Ratatouille because he has the chef's hat on. And the spatula that he's using to, you know, float away kind of looks like a little piece of cheese. So I think the detail on that one is really, really nice. This would be a great steelbook for sure if they made a, a, a Ratatouille steelbook Mondo. Here's some really nice artwork for her, Joaquin Phoenix movie. Love the colors on that and the contrast. It looks really, really nice. Got some really cool Alfred Hitchcock ones here. Vertigo, The Birds. Here's some cool Guardians of the Galaxy artwork. You got Rocket Raccoon over here, and then we got Rocket Raccoon, Hug and Groot. Flash Gordon. And here we got the Goonies and Nightmare Before Christmas. And then here we have artwork for the original Clash of the Titans, uh, the Lego movie. And that's basically it. I was just flipping through, you know, showing you some of my favorites. Uh, but And then over here you kind of have this... Um, this index where it shows the artworks and it shows the artists and like what pages they're on. So that's really cool. I'm kind of show you like who did the art for it. Um, but yeah, all in all, this is an incredible book. Like I said, I really love steel books specifically for the artistic purpose. Um, I've definitely passed down some steel books just because the art looked very plain. So there's really no point of getting it, but yeah, this is a really, really cool book. Uh, if you were looking to get it, I think you can get it on Amazon. Uh, I don't know the price since it was gifted to me. I didn't look it up, but 
Yeah, it's fairly big too. Just kind of has all the artwork from Mondo in there. And then uh, here are some of my Mondo Steelbooks. So I got Toy Story that I showed before, Reservoir Dogs that I showed before, and the Boondock Saints, which is uh, my favorite Mondo for sure. This is really, really nice. Uh, I actually followed the artist that made this and they were showing the work in progress as they were making it. And the way that it came together was just so incredibly satisfying. So I was just showing some of my Mondo love here. Um, if you like artworks like on steelbooks and all that, uh, I definitely recommend getting this book because it's just beautiful. And some of the art in here is just absolutely gorgeous. And the quality is really nice too on these huge pages. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon with some more content. Like and subscribe. Have a good one.